This is a review of the Nikormat FTN, a camera which was manufactured between 1967 and 1975 and is one of the earliest cameras to use Nikon's 6040 center weighted meter. I'm going to go over the controls of the camera, talk a little bit about the camera's history and my history with it, then I'll talk about my likes and dislikes, and finally show you some pictures I've taken with it. We're going to start off the review on the top plate right side and you're going to find some familiar controls as well as some curious items. In the familiar category you see the frame advance lever, the shutter release button, and the frame counter window. In the curious category you find another button that is a little out of place. It's the depth of field preview button. On just about every camera that has the depth of field preview button it is found on the front plate right side. I've never seen it on the top plate before. And also, you're going to find that there's a complete lack of a shutter speed dial. We'll find that later in the review on the front plate. On the top plate left side, you're going to find the film rewind lever and a control not normally found outside the viewfinder, a light meter readout. After that, you see the serial number and the model number. The interesting thing about the model number is you have to put together the two letters to the left of the serial number with the letter on top of the light meter window. On the front plate right side, you find the self-timer lever and shutter speed index. Turn the camera a bit to see the shutter speed values on a collar around the lens mount. On the front plate left side, you're going to find the lever to adjust the shutter speed, the lens release button, the mirror lockup lever, the meter coupling pin, the maximum aperture scale, and on the left side, the flash synchronization terminals. Nothing really to see on the back plate. On the bottom plate left to right, you find the rewind button, the tripod socket, and the battery chamber. From the bottom view, you can see that the bottom of the shutter speed adjusting collar is where you set the film speed. Looking in the viewfinder, straight ahead you see Nikon 6040 weighted metering system. To the right of that, you see the meter itself, which is a needle. You put the needle in the middle for proper exposure according to the meter. Bottom center, you get to see the shutter speed setting. Unfortunately, you don't get to see the aperture setting in the viewfinder. Nikon brought out this camera in the late 60s, early 70s for photographers who wanted to shoot the legendary Nikon lenses but didn't really need a pro level camera with the interchangeable viewfinders and uh, focusing screens. So they brought out this camera. And when you pick up this camera, it is a it's like a solid chunk of metal. It's honestly heavier. I'm pretty sure it's heavier than my F2. I think the only other camera that I use regularly that I know is heavier is my F4. It is a fully mechanical shutter uh, from, what is it, bulb to one one thousandth of a second. It's got actually two meter readouts, as I mentioned earlier, one on the top and one in the viewfinder. It's got the depth of field preview button, which you'd expect. But what's really unique about it is one of the only, I think it's my only non-pro level camera that has a mirror lockup. So that's pretty cool. The other thing that's really unique about it, it is it has the best looking frame counter window. It's actually got a chrome bezel around the frame counter window. I'll do a close up of that. So this is the camera that came out before the FE and FM in 1977. The FM and FE that came out in 77 were based on a smaller, lighter chassis. You can really see the difference here. The FM is on the left and the FTN is on the right. As I've mentioned in some of my other reviews, picking up the FM and FE, it just feels like a sturdy camera. Then when you pick up the FTN, it's like you're picking up a solid chunk of metal. That's the difference. Here you can compare the top plates of the two cameras. The FM is on top and the FTN is on the bottom. Notice that beautiful frame counter window with the chrome bezel around it. Actually kind of looks like a sports car gauge or something. One thing the FTN is missing that the FM has is the multiple exposure lever. And one thing that the FTN has that the FM is missing is the mirror lockup. To be honest, 
I rarely use either one. One thing I do think the FTN is missing that the FM has is the in the viewfinder you can actually see the reading for the aperture setting. You turn the meter on by pulling the frame advance lever out until you see the red dot. Cameras from the late 60s and early 70s that had built-in meters used a meter coupling pin to communicate the lens information to the meter. This is how you mount and dismount lenses on cameras that use the meter coupling pin. To set the maximum aperture scale, once the lens is on the camera, you simply turn the aperture all the way to the left and then back all the way to the right. And you can see the scale indicator, a little red dot, will end up parked at the 2 position because the maximum aperture on this lens is a 2. To set the film speed, you slide this metal pointer to the desired film speed using your fingernail. Once you start setting the shutter speed this way, it actually feels very natural, uh, even though it's different than every other 35mm except for the OM-1. Having the shutter speed on the collar around the lens is actually very intuitive once you start using it this way. And the reason is because the way the aperture is set up, turning the aperture in this direction decreases the light or uh, th decreases the light hitting the film and turning the shutter speed in the same direction increases the light by slowing the shutter speed down. So once you get proper exposure, you can actually tweak both by turning them in the same direction and maintain the proper amount of light uh, that gets to the film. I didn't really know anything about the Nikon FTN. I was talking to a lady at work whose dad had been a professional photographer and had long since retired. And she had in the closet a bag full of his equipment. So I asked her, what do, you, what do you have and do you want to sell it? Uh, well, it turns out she did want to sell it and she mentioned she, she actually at first had no idea. So I said talk to your dad and let me know. Give me a price. So she got back to me and said the magic words to my ears which is Nikon F. An original Nikon F. So then I was really interested and he also had a lot of lenses, uh, a bag full of lenses, a bag full of filters, and so I bought the lot. And it came with his backup camera, a Nikon FTN. The Nikon F, you can tell, has use on it. The FTN, not so much. Uh, the Nikon F actually doesn't work. I'm going to tear it apart in another video and hopefully fix it. If not, it doesn't work now, it won't work then. But this FTN is great. I'm so glad I, I got it. And, and I obviously researched the camera before making this video. I shot several rolls of film through it. it. It is really a great camera. And I'm glad it's part of my collection. Apparently I'm not the only one who was clueless about the awesomeness of the FTN. Because when you take a look at Craigslist or eBay, you will find a lot of examples for well under $100. This might just be the best value for a solid 35mm camera out there currently. Here's just a couple pictures I've taken with the camera on some older print film. This is just a sign somewhere in Anoka, Minnesota. This is my wife in front of a mural on a brick wall. Thanks for watching my video, and if you liked it, hit the like button and think about subscribing.
Also, if you have some ideas for uh, other cameras you'd like me to review, leave a comment down below. Thanks again. Having the aperture, not the aperture, having the shutter speed on a dial. That's <laughs> not a dial. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Uh, shutter speed dial. I guess is it a dial? The way you would turning the shutter speed in that direction does the same thing. Whoops. No wait. Decreases. Yeah, de uh, increases. Oh, increases. Increases. <laughs> <laughs>